this is going to be interesting to block with one hand and another hand on one hand on the camera another hand on the wet sponge when we block it's usually on cars we use what's called long blocks either and this is a dura block this is just going to give you an example now this this block right here shut up will not work right here okay it's too long and this one right here this one could work right there but that requires a special long sandpaper which I don't have so I'm gonna probably just block it with this 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 one which is okay and maybe a tough rubber pad right here I've taken my 800 sandpaper right here broke it in half got some new water that's 800 right there found that you want to save your sandpaper because it's so expensive and I'm just going to dip this because I have to have one hand on the um, camera and let me see I had some other blocks here somewhere aha uh -huh, there's one there are these blocks come in all different sizes they come in um, that's pretty heavy right there we'll just use this one and we they go on all the same way like this and like this and we, are, we want to use a little water and just go little by little remember when you're wet sanding wet sanding takes off a lot of material very quickly I'm gonna to have to switch hands here and try to do this we'll dip that in some water right there oh, no, I mean uh, what I'm using you want to go back and forth okay no circles ever you don't want to go up and down you want to go back and forth in one motion so we know that we've done this area right right down here so we want to just slowly go across it and not stay in one area but Keep moving. You can see it's starting to take off the starting to take off the the primer. And you want to go real light in different places. And what this contrast will do, and see one thing is I I can't hit this real hard because I, I don't have another hand. To hold on to the, the the panel with. So what I'm going to do? Wipe this off. Yeah. Right. And we'll see if I can show you some contrast. My main goal is to get these panels as flat as possible so that the paint will show oh damn it this is not working out the way I wanted to do but you can begin to see what I'm talking about here You can see where the the high spots are where the black is gone and the low spots are where it's still low. And the main thing when you're doing blocking like this, you could block two or three times or four times or a hundred times. You usually don't do it that many times. But when you're starting, you, you can do it many times. All right? The trick is that if you're blocking your one panel on your one time, you want to make sure before you spray any more primer filler on here that you get all that black off. Because once you put on your next coat of primer and your next coat and your next coat and you try to put on new black, that's fine. But you can go through those three panels of primer and get down to your old black 
and it'll give you a false reading. So I'm going to turn the camera off and block this out and see where it gets me because I, I just can't do it one-handed. But this is what's known as blocking and if you take your time to get the panel smooth so it will show up. So that when the paint goes on, so you know we didn't see that when it was just primed. But when you put that fancy paint on there, all of this will show up, all of these low spots. So we started with 400, and now you can either, um, you can block it with 600 or 800. I wouldn't go, 400 was good enough to start with, now we're going to slowly get to where we're going to finish the job, and you want to go either 6 or 800 grit. And we continue. I'm going to block some more, and I, what I'll do is um, I'll show you some of the spots. I'll, I'll leave them out. Then we'll put in, take another video of it.